At first glance, these girls may look like your average Manhattan queens, but spend some time with them, and you'll soon realize they're far from ordinary. Having um, these amazing, intellectual, mature girls just sitting in this room where we can talk about anything that matters to us, anything that frustrates us, we can talk about anything we want. I just think that's really amazing. These 12-year-old girls are from the Arts Effect Theater Lab and they're making their mark on New York City by getting people to talk about what matters to them most, feminism. To see a new generation of girls owning the word, well, and not owning it on a t-shirt, and not owning it, um, you, know, you know, with some, some cool hip saying, literally owning it. Katie Capiello and Meg McKinnerney are the directors of this all-girls theater group. When they started working on their first play just over a year ago, they let the girls in on the creative process. What do you want to talk about? What do you care about? What matters to you? And boom, floodgates open, you know, they could not stop talking. What was kind of interesting and astounding is that the same issues that we've all dealt with as young women um, are alive, present, and well, and that these girls are talking about the same type of thing. Frustrated with today's society, hung up on body image, designer labels, and subliminal messages, the girls realized a play was the perfect outlet for their frustrations, and in the process, made another amazing discovery. They are the new voice of feminism. We all seem to be focusing on that one topic of feminism and how uh, sometimes women and girls tend to not be treated as equally as men and boys. And so we started to, you know, write out scripts and plays and segments. The final product, a play called Keep Your Eyes Open. Keep Your Eyes Open is about um, a show that this girl Winifred has. It's a web show. And she comes out maybe every day, every week, doesn't really matter topic about feminism, different, different things that affect feminism, different things that are happening to girls around the world, different things that are happening to girls like us, and um, just how they affect the world around us, stuff like that. Though not old enough to vote, the cast of Keep Your Eyes Open dives into politics and culture and offers humorous indictments about our celebrity crazed culture. The uncontrollable urge to give <laughs> A group of girls who are observing their world and want the adults out there and their peers out there to know what they're thinking and what they're feeling and their frustrations and their and their thoughts on politics and their thoughts on um you know women's history and their thoughts on mass media and their thoughts on fashion and how all of these things influence how they feel about themselves and, and influence their everyday life. This past August, they became the first production created by and starring children to perform at the New York International Fringe Festival. Not too bad for a debut performance. It didn't take long to generate buzz. Time Out New York called their sold out shows the Vagina Monologues for Tweens. Katie and Meg said the girls brought something new to the table that's relevant to today's society. Who can forget Soldier Boy? The rap song and dance that became a so-called American anthem last year played an eye-opening role in the play. I was li listening to the song and I kind of figured out what it meant and it was like really disgusting. <laughs> I just felt like nobody knows what it means and these girls that are my age are dancing to it and it's like, it's about you, it's bad things about you, why are you supporting it? From today's body image crisis, why do you think I'm bigger than I am? Like that is so offensive. Like to fickle friends. I know who they talk about me behind my back, mom. 
and from gym class antics that haven't changed much over the years. Girls that feel more comfortable, you can do it the girly way. <laughs> to the depleting number of women's history curriculums in schools today, Keep Your Eyes Open is a revealing look at the pre-adolescent life that surprisingly reaches all ages. Our brothers, our, um, our sisters, our mothers, our grandfathers, our, you know, all walked away with something whether that was a peer of, of mine saying that, you know, she's at Harvard Business School, obviously brilliant, obviously extremely intelligent, and literally, you know, wrote me an email saying how it made her feel more confident to be able to raise her hand in class at school. Everyone was just standing in the streets and you could hear different groups of people talking. And I looked at the girls and I said, well, you did it. You did hear, you did exactly what you came to do. You have sparked debate and conversation among adults, among your peers, among artists, among the people of New York City, and that is, that's the coolest thing. You, you know, you, that's so powerful, you know, that's, that's what we're here to do and that's what we're here for. The idea of using this play to open the eyes of audience members is one of the most appealing factors to these young actors. There's so many different things going on around the world and really scary things to girls and I think that's a really that's a really cool aspect about the play because not only is it like entertaining it's hard to watch a play where it's just like telling you the facts it's entertaining and you're getting all this really good information and it's really important information too their performance earned them the most outstanding ensemble award at the fringe the ultimate award keep your eyes open has turned into an empowerment movement or as the girls like to call it the new feminist movement. In each performance, they pay tribute to their feminist heroes, Gloria Steinem, Susan B. Anthony, and Rosa Parks, to name a few. Sometimes I actually get emotional when I think about these girls longing to learn more about the women that came before them. Um, they know their names, they know what they've accomplished, they know the, the trails that they blazed. And occasionally, some of their heroes even show up to return the favor. Former SNL star Amy Poehler is possibly one of their biggest fans. And Secretary of State Hillary Clinton sent the girls a personal letter applauding their commitment to social awareness through the arts. But they don't consider their work to be done quite yet. If we live in New York City and we live in one of the most progressive, like liberal places in the world, and these girls are still feeling these things and still feeling these injustices and still feeling, um, you know, frustrations and anxiety, we need to do something about it. And, and we can, and that's the thing, we can do something about it. So let's do it. Their new mission? to tackle injustices against women and girls around the world. That's really incredible, and I think that is what theater can do. I think that theater is an incredible tool that can spark debate, can spark conversation, um, that can empower not only the actors that are on stage, which is what initially, I think, drew me to theater and acting, is how empowered I felt on stage, but it also absolutely empowers the individuals that are watching. These girls are already making plans to change their generation and the future generations that will follow them. On this topic, so I really want to keep spreading the word and making people more aware of the fact that um, there isn't just happiness around the world and that we have to <laughs> figure out how to make it better. But this topic, I'll definitely want to do because I won't feel like my job is done until every single person in this world knows what's actually happening and how we can better it. So.